Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and I'm super excited because Grandstream just announced a wave of 10 brand new products. That's right, I did say 10 brand new products. And some of them may even change the way you design or build your next network setup. Some of them are so surprising that I bet no one ever saw them coming. I know I didn't. However, the big question is, which of these new devices will deserve a spot in your rack or your next deployment? Well, stick around because a few of them could be absolute game changers. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be breaking down and highlighting the 10 new products that were announced earlier today by Grandstream in their video. Now, that video goes into a lot of detail and is over an hour long. And if you're interested in that, I'll put a link up above as well as down in the video description. Again, we're just going to highlight and cover it and go through it as quickly as we can. But be sure to stick around for number 10 because that product announcement takes Grandstream into a direction that we've not seen before. All right, first up, there are three new access control systems. Here they are on the screen. The first two on the left come with metal IK10 vandal resistant housings. They all have four megapixel cameras, AI based background noise suppression and echo cancellation. They're all IP66 waterproof, scheduled to launch November, 2025. Moving on, number two, Adding to their SIP speaker lineup, we have two brand new outdoor models. The GSC 3518HS horn speaker, scheduled to launch in quarter one, 2026, and the GSC 3518CS column speaker, scheduled to launch in quarter two. Now they both support PoE++, they're both IP66 weatherproof, high wind resilience, and they are both are pole and wall mountable. Let's move on to number three. We have two outdoor audio and video intercom devices. Both support dual mics, IP66 weatherproof, IK10 vandal resistant metal casings, and 10 watt speakers. The only difference between the two is the one on the right has a four megapixel camera. This product is scheduled to launch late quarter one or early quarter two, 2026. So of the three new products I've covered so far, which do you think will get the most attention this year? I have my thoughts, but I'd like to see what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments below. Okay, let's move on to number four. Now here, for those of us who are budget minded like I am myself, we have two brand new access points. We have an outdoor 7605 CLR Wi-Fi 5 access point and the first of its kind on the right, a new GWN 7660M pluggable access point. This is designed specifically for easy meshing with other Grandstream access points or devices, launching in the late quarter four of this year or early quarter one of 2026. Moving on to number five. In contrast to the budget-friendly APs, Grandstream is adding two more Wi-Fi 7 access points to their lineup. The GWN 7671 in-wall, dual-band 2x2, supports 256 wireless clients. It has one 2.5 gigabit uplink, supports PoE Plus or PoE Plus Plus. It has two 2.5 gigabit with PSE. The GWN 7674 is a high-performance Wi-Fi 7 AP, 2x4x4 tri band Wi-Fi 7 access point supporting 640 plus wireless clients. It does have a 10 gig Ethernet port, PoE plus or PoE plus plus and the GWN 7674 is launching early quarter 1 2026 while the GWN 7671 is launching in either quarter 1 or quarter 2. Next up Launching in quarter one, 2026, we have a brand new Wi-Fi 6 business level router, the GWN 7062M. It does have one 2.5 gigabit WAN port and one 2.5 gigabit SFP combo port. You can see the rest of the specs on the screen, including full support for the various VPN options. Again, launching quarter one, 2026. In addition to the GWN 7062M, Grandstream is also working on Wi-Fi 7 routers that should support 10 gig. There's not much information on this device or devices as of yet, but we should be seeing a launch somewhere in mid-2026. Okay, so we're just about halfway through and the next couple of products are the ones that I am personally most excited about. Any guesses? Well, you're just going to have to stick around to find out. Let's keep it moving. Number eight, Grandstream is showing us new enterprise level network switches. In particular, the GWN 780XP Pro Series switches. 
They are layer two plus plus managed PoE switches. They come in eight, 16, 24, or 48 port configurations. PoE, PoE plus with limited PoE plus plus ports on certain models. And they are coming with multiple 2.5 gigabit SFP or 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. And I guess the big thing here is to increase speed and capacity. We should see these enterprise level switches launching late quarter four of this year or early quarter one of 2026. Moving on to number nine. All right, so number nine has me super excited, especially since I recently released a wireless bridge video using two regular Grandstream access points. So now we have actual point to point and point to multi-point wireless bridges, the GWN7302. You can see the specs on the screen. I am excited that we finally have a true point to point and point to multi-point system from Grandstream. Launching late quarter four of this year, early quarter one of next year. And finally, number 10, this one is different folks. It's not just another AP or VoIP phone. They are heading in a completely new direction. We have new storage products, that's right. Grandstream is breaking into the NAS market with a desktop mini tower on the left and a 1U rack mountable on the right. Both support four bays, 3.5 or 2.5 SATA. Both come with four gig of RAM and eight gig of eMMC flash. The desktop comes with one 2.5 gigabit ethernet and one gigabit ethernet, while the rack mountable comes with one 10 gig SFP plus port, four 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and it also has two M.2 SSD slots, launching scheduled for mid 2026. Wow, that was one heck of a product announcement from Grandstream. Which one impressed you the most? Let me know down in the comments. Anyone maybe a kind of possibility of an upgrade in the future? Again, if you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And again, please drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next one.